Hey everyone, it's Lady Kaka on 101, and today I'm here at the Monster High Comic-Con exclusive Ghostbuster Frankenstein doll. I'm so excited. Out of the two dolls that Mattel has sent me from the Comic-Con exclusive 2016 dolls, I really love the Ghostbuster Frankie because Ghostbusters was like my childhood. I loved watching Ghostbusters when I was younger, and combining Ghostbusters and Monster High is just incredible, and I'm surprised they didn't do it sooner. I'm gonna show you the little box she comes in because they sent me two of each doll. So it comes in like this black box with spider web designs and you can see a little cut out here at the Monster High symbol that is right there. It says adult collector. And on the back you see a symbol of a lightning bolt. And it just keeps on getting better as you open the box. I absolutely adore this box. It's a work of art on its own. So as you can see there's tons of green slime coming down the whole school. There's the hallways of Monster High there. And there's a little crest that says Frankie Stein, daughter of Frankenstein, adult collector. And there's Slimer and Frankie's blasting her little shooter ray. It says Ghostbusters up there. And there's the Ghostbuster symbol. It says Monster High with some slime going down the logo. Who are you gonna call? Frankie Stein. It's not every day that there's ghosts at Monster High. Oh wait, yes it is. But paranormally, there aren't trespassing ghosts who zip around the hallways and classrooms leaving the trail of, ew, slime. Claudine found a little green slimer in her locker next to her ruined shoes. Then Gulia spied him wreaking havoc on the computer lab. Jack tried to catch him, but have you ever tried to fly when you've got slime on your wings? And Cleo, let's just say, she took one look at the mess and felt royally ill. So supernaturally, they called Frankie. She's a ghoul who doesn't mind lending a hand, sometimes literally. And the little ectoplasm dripping on her stitches isn't going to spoil her school spirit. Frankie got to work. She strapped on a proton pack and fired neutralizing particles like a pro until it was hard to tell who was causing more mayhem, Frankie or Slimer. Frankie chased Slimer down the hall past the claudatorium into the creepateria. Every monster who had lunch that period was treated to a spooktacular show. Slimer bounced from tray to tray, gobbling down tater tots, chopping pizza slices, tossing shriek salad, and wow, can he guzzle milk. All the while, Frankie was hot on his oozy trail, doing flips, somersaults, and even occasional pirouette. But then Frankie had a voltageous idea. Hey Slimer, she called out to the happily munching ghost. Why don't you join us? Grab a bite and fang out. Slimer stopped. No one has ever asked him to eat with them before. So Slimer joined the ghouls and had a grave time. And he ate every last bite off of everyone else's trays. The ghouls didn't mind. He's actually kind of cute once you get to know him after he stops slamming you. And there's a little skelet blasting the little Ghostbuster symbol. Super adorable story. I love this packaging. It's so gorgeous. But let's open it up and take a look at Frankie and Slimer. Here's Frankie out of the box and she's gorgeous. As you can probably notice, she does have the new rebooted face, but I actually really like it with this doll. I think it works well. In terms of makeup, let's see. She has yellow eyeshadow, which goes with her neon transparent yellow lightning bolt sunglasses. And she has really cute pink lips. She has really cool electric blue earrings and a hoop shape. And her hair is pulled back in a ponytail, a high ponytail that's really cute. And she has bangs as well, and it's in the traditional black and white color. And she has a Ghostbusters uniform in a brown color with some orange and gray lightning bolt patterns. And her name tag, it says Stein. She has a little dog tag necklace in silver with a matching belt with a lightning bolt in the front and a blue belt to coincide with that one. And she has these cute little molded on black gloves and a bracelet there too on both hands. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the old body. I don't really know. I didn't take off her clothes because I don't want to risk ruining her clothes. But um, just by looking at the shape of it, I'm pretty sure this is the older body, but it just has the newer face. Correct me if I'm wrong, but um, that's what I think. And she does have these really cool, nearly knee high boots in black with wedges that are in the shape of lightning bolts. And she has little orange lightning bolts in the front. And she has a little neon green tie around her knee and a little walkie-talkie attached to her hip. And she has this big, ginormous, really detailed proton pack in the back. And it has a little blaster here with a handle so she can hold it. It's so amazing. 
And as you can see, Slimer is still in the packaging, so you could see him better. I wish he was a little bit bigger, but that's kind of nitpicking. And last but not least, Frankie comes with a saddle stand rather than a traditional one that goes around the waist, but that's understandable considering how much she has going on here. Alright guys, that is my review on the San Diego Comic Con 2016 Ghostbuster Frankie Stein doll. Tell me what you guys think of her down in the comments, and until next time, comment, rate, subscribe, and see you in the next video. Bye guys!